Hi guys, we're going to get started on our math homework. Um, we're correcting lesson 4.7, so we are on page 209. So if you would please grab your Envision workbook and go to 209, and I'll meet you there with the camera. Okay. All right, page 209. So what we have going on here and hopefully this video is going to behave so that I don't have to do two of them oh, I hope that worked out for you guys okay yesterday thank you guys for you're so flexible and hang in there on on so much I really appreciate you all right so number one 21 divided by three so we're looking at the fact family so three times what will be 21 well, if we skip count by threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. It's seven. If you skip count by seven, seven, 14, 21. That's three times. All right, let's go to number three, 18 divided by nine. So if I do nine plus nine, that equals 18. That's only two of them. So I know that it's two. Nine times two, two and two. And if we do our nines trick and we put down the two, the second finger, that's 18. So we've checked it several ways, so we know that's the right answer. Number five, 18 divided by six. So if I have six plus six, that equals 12. 12 plus six equals 18. So that's one, two, three sixes, so that's three. 6 times 3 equals 18. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. 3 times 6 equals 18. Alrighty. 14 divided by 2. So um, I can do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I counted by 2's. That's 7 times. So 2 times 7 is 14. And number 9, 32 divided by 4, I can do 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is uh, 16, plus 4 is 20, plus uh, 4 is 24, plus 4 more is 28, plus 4 more is 32. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 divided by 8 is 4. Okay, so seven, two, three, seven, eight. All right, let's turn the page. I'm gonna do number 11. All right, it says, suppose Ellis ha asked more classmates to name their favorite color. If four more classmates named blue this time, how many classmates named blue in all? So we had five, six, seven, eight, nine, Plus four more, 13 classmates. Like Lou. Okay, and then of course I already answered that one for you. We don't have to do that one, so let's go to 15. This is going by very fast, isn't it? Tolan has 18 dog treats. He gives the same number of treats to six dogs at the animal shelter. Which two equations could be used to find the number of treats each dog gets? Okay, 18 dog treats. He gives the same number of treats to six dogs. So we're looking at 18 divided by six. Okay, or six times what will equal 18? So let's look here. 18 plus six, well, nope, that's not gonna work. 18 divided by six and six times three. Okay, that's, that's looking good. Let's see if there's any more. 18 divided by 18 is 1. Nope, that's not looking right. 6 divided by 3 is 2. That doesn't look right. So just that B. All right, that is it for that book. And we're going to get out our uh, plastic envelope and our math interactive notebook. Okay. We are going to be um, doing the lesson 4.7. 
So when you reach in, you just have 4.7 right here. Okay, put those two away. Okay. And we're going to separate these. So on this one, we're going to cut out around the whole thing. And then, let's see if I can cut out around the whole thing. And then we're going to cut uh, these in. Cut these in. Um, we're not going to cut in the middle. So don't go all the way through. So instead of making the doors that open in this way, we're making the doors that open out that way. So these are going to open this way and those will open that way. Does it make sense? And then we're going to cut out around this and then up through the middle and here in the middle so that these windows will open this way. And you need to cut out the title. All right. So you can go ahead and start, get started cutting and I will go find us a song to listen to while we're cutting. All right, let's go back and go ahead and cut. Okay, guys, so we are all done with that. 
Um, if you aren't finished for some reason, uh, go ahead and um, push pause so you can get everything cut out, okay? okay. All righty. So I went ahead and just folded things so that it be a little easier to glue in. So the last thing we did was the zero property, identity property, distributive property. Um, so Elijah, you're just starting, so you're going to be on the very first page of your book. Um, and so that's just fine. Don't worry about that. I don't want you to have to try to catch up with everything we've done so far. So that'd be a lot of work for you. You uh, can just jump right in with this one. So what we do is we just put a little bit of glue. And a lot of these have little fun windows and tabs. And so we don't, um, we don't cut everything separate. We usually have stuff that has to stick together. So if I lay that here, hopefully that's going to fit. Ooh, just barely. Okay. And then I'm going to come over on this side on the back. And we just put a little glue on this piece right here that's going to go down. Okay, so it says, I can use patterns and known facts to find unknown multiplication facts. I can use multiplication facts to find related division facts. All right, so seven, uh, 63 divided by 7. Okay, let me open this. We're going to do the fact family that goes with this, okay? So we have a 7. So 7 times something is 63 and something times seven is 63, and 63 divided by seven equals something, and 63 divided by something equals seven. Okay, so we think about it. I see a six and a three. If I add those together, they make nine. Let me see if that works for seven times nine. If I make Take my hand, I did seven times nine. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put this one down, 63. I believe it's a nine. Seven times nine. Now, if we needed to do, you know, skip count by seven, um, the song that we listened to was the sevens, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. There's nine. All right, so go ahead and get that fact family written down. We're going to go ahead and do 3 times 6 to start out our fact family. Equals something. And 6 times 3 equals something. And that something divided by 3 equals 6. And that something divided by 6 equals 3. So if I skip count by 6, 3 times, 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 1 more 6 is 18. So we have 18, 18, 18, 18. 3 times 6 is 18. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to keep going. Six, uh, 42 divided by 6. So we know that 6 times something will equal 42. And something times 6 will equal 42. And 42 divided by 6 will equal something. And 42 divided by uh, something will equal 6. Okay, so um, we could draw a picture. We could maybe have it multiple, uh, memorized already. Um, but 6, we counted by 6s. So if I do 6, 12, 18, 24, that's 6 times 4, plus 6 more would be 30, plus 6 more would be 36, plus 6 more would be 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6 times 7. Okay, go ahead and get that written down. Okay, and then 9 times 7. So we're going to go here. We'll say 9 times 7 equals something. And 7 times 9 equals something. And something divided by 9 equals 7. And something divided by 7 equals 9. It's a 9, so I can use my 9's trick. Okay, so we're going to count up to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tuck seven under. We count by tens on this side. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. So they're all 63. Okay, make sure you get everything written down. If you need to pause, go ahead and push pause. Just so that way you can have everything in your book. All right, we are going to go to the other side here. Four times eight. So the first one is four times eight equals something. And eight times four. 4 equals something. Something divided by 4 equals 8. And something divided by 8 equals 4. And when I'm dividing, I always take whatever the first one was. And that way I, I know that I do both. All right, so if I'm skip counting by 8, 8 plus 8 is 16. Plus 8 more is 24, plus 8 more is 32. Or I could figure it out this way. 8 plus 8 equals 16, and 8 plus 8 equals 16, because that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And add them together, 12, carry 1, 32. Lots of ways we can figure out how to solve. So if you're doing division and it's difficult, maybe it's just you're just your your head's not ready to get it yet. Flip it over, do it in multiplication. Do your fact families. That will help you. All right. 30 divided by 5. Okay. So what we know is 5 times something equals 30. And what I like about this is 5 is easy. Remember, it's easy to skip count by 5. Okay, so then it's 30 divided by, and I always do the first one, 5 equals something. And 30 divided by something equals 5. Okay, I can skip count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Five times six, six times five. 30 divided by five is six. 30 divided by six is five.
Okay. We're going to move down to 8 times 7. 8 times 7 equals something. 7 times 8 equals something. Something divided by 8 equals 7. Something divided by 7 equals 8. Okay, so if we do, um, it depends on which one you like to count by. So if I skip, skip count by 7, I can do 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. I like, to, I like to do the sevens song that we've learned in Number Rock in my head because it helps me do this. Otherwise, I'd have to count. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. Okay, that's where I can stop. Is it 56? Because that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now if I skip count by 8. 8, 16, 24, 30, 32, 40, 48. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I need one more. 56. There we go. So we know that it's 56. Twenty divided by four. So that means four times something equals twenty, and something times four equals twenty, and twenty divided by four equals something, and twenty divided by something equals four. All right. So I can uh, skip count by fours to till I get to twenty. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 4 is 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 5. Okay. I'm going to kind of prop those up so you can see it. Make sure you have everything written down. And if you need to pause, you know, and get get this side if you need it, pause it. And then if you need this side, go ahead and push pause there. Get all of those down. All right, so then just make sure these are smooth so that you can turn your page without it getting too messy. Okay, we are going to be writing division equations. <clears throat> 20 divided by 4. So we're going to open up our little door. And the main problem is 20 divided by 4 equals what? So let's do our fact family. 4 times what equals 20? How funny that this was the last one we just did, right? Something times 4 equals 20. 20 divided by 4 equals something. 20 divided by something equals 4. Okay, like we just did, we'll just practice it anyway. We're going to do it again. Um, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 4 is 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, then we're going to go to 12 divided by 3. 
Okay, so we'll write our problem up here. 12 divided by 3 equals something. So we're going to go build our fact family so that we can solve. So 3 times something equals 12. And something times 3 equals 12. And 12 divided by 3 equals something. And 12 divided by something equals 3. Okay, so then let's do our skip counting here. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 4 is 12. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, go ahead and get that written in. Okay, let's do 10 divided by 2. So we'll write it up here. 10 divided by 2 equals something. 2 times something equals 10. Something times 2 equals 10. 10 divided by 2 equals something. And 10 divided by something equals 2. If we skip count by 2 to 10, we go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I skip counted 5 times, so 2 times 5 is 10. And you can double check that. You can just say, okay, 2 5s, that would be 5 plus 5. Line well, away, makes 10. Twenty-five divided by five. Five times something equals twenty-five. Something times five equals twenty-five. Twenty-five divided by five equals something. And 25 divided by something equals 5. All right, we're doing 5s again, which are fun because they're easy, right? 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 5 is 20 plus 5 is 25. We count, counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5 is our answer all throughout. So if I skip count by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, make sure you have everything written in your book that I have in my book, please. Go ahead and push pause. Make, make sure you have everything from both pages that we did today. Um, if you need to go back, just slide the little thing at the bottom. Just slide the little thing at the bottom of this video and you can go back a little bit and watch it. All right, guys, that is all we are doing in our interactive math notebook. Um, we are uh, doing our social studies science lesson that we were supposed to do yesterday. It just didn't work out. Um, so after you're finished with this, you can head to social studies and science unless you've already finished that. Make sure you finish. Um, you have your vocabulary, your grammar task cards, your morning work, your read aloud, and your, and your math lesson. All right, guys, uh, nice job, and I will see you tomorrow.